All right, let's get things started with a brand new question of the day, you guys. Please let me know your answers in the comments down below. But today's question of the day comes from Mr. Moxie asking, what is your favorite nameplate or banner in Fall Guys? I like to use this tagged one because it's like the most rare one I have. I think you get it at like crown rank 24 or 25 in Fall Guys. But I also like the ice cold crown one. What are some other good ones? Um, there's a lot of cool different nameplates and banners and things like that. Let me know what one you guys use, what your favorite one is in the comments down below. What is going on you guys? I got an exciting video for you guys today. We are gonna be talking about a new currency coming to Fall Guys in season four called Crown Shards. So drop a like if you guys are ready to learn more about these Crown Shards coming to Fall Guys and let's get into it. But first, if you're new to the channel, I'm Jose. I make all kinds of Fall Guys videos. So if you're into that sort of thing, you should hit that subscribe button right now. Right now. Right now. All right, let's go. So we have a new currency called Crown Shards that is supposed to be coming to Fall Guys Season 4 in about a week. I think that the start of Season 4 is going to be on Tuesday, March 2nd. I know you guys that the Battle Pass says that the season's going to end before that, but Fall Guys likes to do this thing where they extend the season for a few more days and do double fame points so that people who haven't had a chance to reach level 40 in the Battle Pass and unlock all of the cool stuff have a chance to reach max level. They did this before the start of season two and they did it before the start of season three so that leads me to believe that they're probably going to do it once again before the start of season four as well. But anyways back to the currencies in Fall Guys. Right now we have two currencies in Fall Guys that you can use to buy things. We have crowns which are earned through the battle pass and also for winning games and then we have kudos that you get just for playing the game even if you don't win. The more rounds you qualify, the more kudos you get. Both of these currencies can be earned just by playing the game. No purchases or real money are necessary or anything like that. You can use them to buy special outfits, emotes, patterns, colors, nameplates, nicknames, and more. The only thing that you can't buy in Fall Guys with either crowns or kudos are the special DLC packs which you can only get by using real money to buy those. But everything else in the game you can just earn just by playing the game. So anyways, if we already have these two currencies, what are these new crown shards going to be coming to season four and how can you get them? So these new crown shards are pretty much exactly what they sound like. They are pieces or fragments of a whole crown. We think that the way that you're going to be able to earn them is through a new squad mode in Fall Guys and all of the players in the squad will receive a crown shard as a reward. So like in Fortnite and Call of Duty and other games and stuff like that where you can select what type of game mode you want to play whether it's like solos, duos, trios, or squads, it seems like Fall Guys is going to be doing something like that with Season 4 and these new crown shards. Right now in Fall Guys, you can create a party with your friends, but it's not truly a squad because you're still playing individually against each other. You're not like working together. You're just in the same party and there's just an arrow over the people who are in your party inside the same game. The only thing that it guarantees when you're in a party is that you will be in the same game. It guarantees that you guys will all be playing in the same game, get all the same maps, that sort of thing. But it seems like that is going to be changing with these new squad modes or playlist. It'll be your team of players against other teams of players. And you'll be competing for these special new crown shards. This is something very new and very different that Fall Guys has never done. And it's really exciting. So how many of these crown shards do you need to get a full crown, you're asking? Well, it looks like you're going to need four crown shards to complete and have a full crown. So for every four crown shards that you have, that is one normal whole crown. Now, because you need four of these shards to get one whole crown, I imagine that these new squad modes probably won't be the same as like the current shows that we have in Fall Guys right now, because those shows and playlists and stuff like that are usually five to six rounds, including the final. So I think that this new squad mode is probably going to be fewer rounds and it's going to be a quicker game mode. 
The reason I think it's going to be like this is because if it was just a normal show, that would mean that you would have to play almost 20 rounds to win four crown shards. And that's assuming that you win all of those games. I just can't imagine Fall Guys making you play that many games just to earn one whole crown or else nobody would really play it like you would just play the normal game modes and, and try to earn crowns quicker because it would be quicker than earning all of these little crown shard pieces. So I think that they're going to do something like that to make it quicker so that you can earn these crown shards faster than normal crowns because once again you need four crown shards to put it together to equal a whole crown so it's probably not going to take that long. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I just think this whole concept with these crown shards, this new currency coming to Fall Guys in Season 4 is really cool. You can just squad up with all your friends and compete against other teams, like for real, your team versus their team, not just like your party against their party. If you guys don't have anybody to play Fall Guys with, I strongly encourage you guys to reach out to your fellow amigos in our little community on this channel and just share your PlayStation or PC names with them so that you guys can play Fall Guys together. So just drop a comment on this video letting people know that you want to squad up in Fall Guys either on PlayStation or PC. Because if you guys are not great at Fall Guys and you don't have a lot of crowns and you're just like really trying to get more crowns so that you can buy more outfits and cool things and stuff like that, you might be able to find a good squad through your amigos on this channel. Maybe you can find a good squad so that they can carry you and help you get some of these new crown shards. But this new dynamic with squad mode is just going to really change the game in Fall Guys. Fall Guys has been an individual game since the start of the game when it released, but now it seems like that is all going to be changing and it's going to be expanding into some new team squad mode variations. Now, I just want to let you guys know, I just want to clarify this. I don't think that Fall Guys is strictly going to become like this squad mode game or anything like that. I'm sure you're still going to be able to play solo if you choose to do so. Just like in other games, you know, you have the opportunity and option to select either solo, duos, trios, or squad. It just seems like Fall Guys is going to be adding some new variations to the game, but you can still play the game like you did before. Because in Fall Guys, you know we have multiple shows to choose from all the time. We always have the main show if you just want to play the main show. And then there's usually another special show that you can choose from if you want. Now, there may also be some other ways to earn these crown shards in the future, but it looks like at the moment, you're just going to be able to get these crown shards from the special squad modes or playlists. They could potentially choose to expand this feature in the future and offer new ways to earn these crown shards, which I'm sure they probably will, knowing Fall Guys. Maybe some things like getting three first places in race modes equal one crown shard or making it to the finals. Like maybe if you make it to the finals, even if you lose, maybe as a reward, you'll just get one little crown shard. I think things like that could be a really fun way to motivate players and just reward them for their hard work. Which I think could be pretty cool because I make it to the finals most of the time, but if you lose, all you get is kudos. And for players like me, and I'm sure a lot of you guys who just have like so many kudos, the kudos are kind of useless because we have so many already. So it would be really cool to get a crown shard and, you know, rack up more crowns because I think crowns are a little bit more useful to kudos in terms of currency. I definitely think Season 4 is going to be the best season of Fall Guys yet. I mean, we are going to have so many new things like new maps, new finals, these new crown shards, new outfits, new battle pass, new DLC packs, new collaborations with other games, new shows, new features, new settings. There's just going to be so many things, you guys. It's going to be absolutely amazing, and I cannot wait. And then we have Fall Guys coming to Nintendo Switch and Xbox this summer, which is probably going to be around Season 6 of Fall Guys. I mean, that's like crazy to even say, starting to think about Season 6 of Fall Guys. But it's just really cool that Fall Guys is going to be expanding into different platforms like Xbox and Nintendo Switch. I think that is just really going to help Fall Guys take their game to the next level, increasing their fan base and audience, expanding to these new platforms. But right now we are focused on Season 4 of Fall Guys and all of the great things that are going to be coming. But once again, you guys, I think Season 4 is going to be starting on Tuesday, March 2nd. We'll probably have like three days leading up before then with double fame points and a special show or something like that. That's what they usually like to do. 
Um, but I think that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed all of this new information. I hope you guys are excited about this new currency called Crown Shards coming to Fall Guys in Season 4. Do not forget to like the video if you guys haven't already and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here and you love Fall Guys. I already know that you do since you're watching this video. But that is going to do it for today's video. You guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I will see you guys next time for another Fall Guys video. Adios.